Hello friends, good morning, good evening, Vladimir here and this is the daily forecast for 14th of August 2013. Uh, let's go over the things we were looking at yesterday, like the New Zealandian uh, dollar. Uh, and then, of course, we'll go and uh, see the opportunities we have for today. So first of all, it's important to say yesterday was a very interesting day and a very nice day. We got some interesting moves. And let's quickly update and see what uh, we got, uh, what worked, what failed, what did, uh, wasn't triggered, and what is relevant for today, of course. So the first one is, was the New Zealand and dollar. We talked about the head and shoulders. It was retesting here, and I told you if we manage to break it down this level again we gain the momentum and we will be aiming uh, to take uh, this zone as target right reaching this bottom we can see that it created also a divergence RSI came closer to extreme so target reached job done and uh, uh, New Zealandian dollar did the job the final target could uh, stay open now as long as the a uh, four hour chart 20 ma uh, is holding right? as long as we are below i think the new zealand dollar should continue lower it could go to 079.20 or even lower than that so keep your uh, 30 20 15 10 percent uh, of the trade running and let it go as long as the four hour chart holds if we will get another close above the four hour chart that would be a sign to stay away We've been talking about the dollar yen and I told you I expect a drop down a bit then continuation to the upside and on the one hour chart we got the divergence and I told you we uh, should be aiming the 20 MA and then the opposite bend right and we can see it did reach the 20 MA it did reach the opposite bend according to the uh, four hour chart uh, it never reached lower of course the, su the support is lower but pay attention right here on this morning it created a bullish hidden divergence so it's time to stay away i think the pair is able to push a bit lower that could be 9860 that could be 9880 99 plus uh, several pips Con continuing with its divergence and then i do think as long as we are still inside this channel when we come closer and closer to the upper side i think that's going to be a very nice opportunity to uh, sell the dollar yen again yeah, so the first thing and the first uh, uh, down move what we cannot call it the down move it was a range move but uh, still we get an opposite divergence against us we never fight it we just accept it and go out and we'll, we'll be looking to re resell that with the next four hour chart resistance the hidden divergence is already here right it could stop on each of the resistances as long as it's, it holds inside this bearish channel and the combination with the one hour chart uh, divergence with one hour chart uh, bearish diver bearish hidden divergence MACD taken to the downside of course that's going to be our uh, call uh, 20 may on the four hour and the one hour chart with the first target second target would be the four hour chart 20 MA and it actually goes hand by hand with this trend line as you can see okay there's a trend line so if it goes bit up then we can expect some um, cycle to the downside and that's what we want to do and where we want to be we've been talking about silver but we should go and sell this one remember yesterday here and i told you wait for a bearish candle pattern and macd ticking to the downside like here okay you see it was beautiful triple divergence right and a beautiful quick move with 25 points directly to the 20 mm end of on the one hour chart and we are now aiming the four hour chart 20 mm. now pay attention we have 20 candles right on the silver on the four hour chart uh, four hour chart which means uh, we could aim all the way to the opposite bend of the bollingers but pay attention that uh, to this down move that it might be it might turn to be like the dollar yen on the morning a small down move a bullish divergence bullish hidden divergence to form itself you see between these two lows it could be right here it could be here it could be here no one no one can say exactly what it's going to be but pay attention to this bullish hidden divergence if it forms itself and wherever it forms itself 
it will be time to go away from the sales and look for opportunities to buy not to sell anymore so stay tuned hold your hold your sales now and at 20 may aim the on the four hour chart aim the lower band of the bollingers on the four hour chart but uh, when we get a bullish hidden divergence against us on the four hour chart it's time to go out close the trade and start to look for opportunities uh, to buy not to sell okay the same story we had with the dow jones i told you yesterday right here we should be looking for sale opportunities according to the four hour chart bearish hidden divergence and on the one hour chart i remind you we had several resistances and i told you look for a bearish candle pattern then aim the 20 ma as the first target we got quick 40 points and aim the uh, the last low right here this support zone as the next target and we can say it reached it okay? two three points uh, miss it's uh, it's nothing of course it uh, visited this zone and uh, it was time to um, take profits of course so Dow Jones also did the job and uh, we can say actually it was very nice day the one that did not, did not work was the uh, corn I told you to look for the false break and yesterday I updated you and I told you well, pay attention to this uh, resistance it must break within few candles if it does not break and go down again below the 20 MA, go out and that's what uh, happened so we should close manually and in case you did not close manually that's a that's trade that uh, took the stop loss uh, and did not work we also were looking for the euro against the australian which is still a very interesting one and i will talk about it today um and i told you yesterday that i'm going to update you about the pound franc which i think uh, it starts to be very interesting opportunity so let's start for the, the first thing we have for today is the dollar yen okay that's clearly and uh, as i explained the previous look for this uh, up move uh, look for the divergence to rebuild itself on the top and then it will be a good time to uh, go and look to sell one, this one again after the 20 ma reached and the uh, lower band on the one hour chart reaches the bottom so what about the euro Aussie? euro Aussie is a bit tricky because if you remember yesterday i told you that it might still go push up all the way to here retest this trend line it's still relevant but the four hour chart has already as you see between these two highs already has a bearish uh hidden divergence right rsi is still holding below 50 which is a bearish sign right and uh, on the one hour chart also we can see that there is a pressure bearish pressure so what i want to do right now actually it, it creates something that reminds some triangle or, or a, a wedge or i don't uh, it doesn't matter really how we call it right something like that okay you see that that's a, a sideway range pattern this one has to break itself if it break up i suggest to stay away don't take the up move because i think it should be limited and then we just uh, will be looking to resell the retest of the four hour chart trend line which i just showed you but if it breaks to the downside that would be time to go for a sell what i want to happen is a break below the trend line and actually i prefer it breaks down this support again that's around 145 30 40 range 145 30 40 range that's the zone the bearish pressure is uh, hard here but it still could break to the upside and take us closer to 146 uh 60 147 157 plus to retest the four hour chart broken trend line as i showed you before so be careful here and wait patiently for a break if it managed to break this uh, range triangle or wedge down and break the uh, support line here that's pretty convincing sign that the euro pound is ready for another down move maybe all the way to the previous low 144.60 or even lower this time taking us to 143 142 or even lower preparing the ground for the next move take a look uh, on a bigger picture this is the four hour chart and we have four waves already now one two big three now forming four and the five is about to begin most likely the, then the only question is where exactly and how exactly and that's what we are prepared for a breakdown here or if it breaks up we stay away and we'll be looking to uh, for the pair to continue higher 
retest the trend line or at least coming closer to that and then i'm looking to resell for, right from the top so stay tuned for the euro aussie really good opportunity from my point of view australian dollar also is very interesting opportunity uh, i think it was chris shared yesterday on the dashboard if if i confuse uh, the names sorry friends i don't remember exactly who said what uh, <laughs> all the sorry uh, so uh, we do have a bullish uh, hidden divergence now on the australian dollar we also have a trend line right as you can see and we have several supports one of them is uh, right here one of them is a bit lower and the final one is here and that's of course if we measure the trend line like this okay from this spike through this spike then this support can uh, hold so uh, in other words the trend line is a bit, bit confusing with its angles but the supports are very strong the bullish hidden divergence is already there on the four hour chart we go down to the one hour chart the continuing divergence is also there remember the trade the trade we had with the oil same story it moved the same way and then broke the resistance and the trend line and fly that's what we are going to, to do here okay that's what we want to happen that's a down move channel we have one two three four five six now uh, reaching about seven it could any time break to the upside alternatively it could make another push continue the divergence and right from the bottom bam make the fly so we have two ways to trade this one one drop down to each of the supports make a stop there with a bullish candle pattern with macd to tick to the upside what do i mean by tick to the upside change from bearish slope on the histogram change to bullish slope on the histogram and right uh, from there we could go and start the attack to the buy second way is to break above the trend line and the relevant resistance in our case that's 091.10 see that's the trend line that's the resistance if it pushes slower then like so something like that okay imagine imagine the down move to here okay something like that then uh, break above uh, uh, the trend line and the resistance will be in this case here okay so every relevant resistance with trend line combination that will be broken that will be our time to jump in protection below the last low uh, first target will be channel duplication or in other words next important resistance so if from here then to here and then we should let it go all the way to the last high at least uh, uh as it might be the beautiful uh, trend continuation with the four hour chart uh, bullish hidden divergence so australian dollar is also very interesting opportunity we have dollar yen so far aussie dollar and euro aussie very interesting dollar canadian is the next one dollar canadian is forming now a bearish hidden divergence bend to bend definitely not classical but it's still bend to bend and on the one hour chart we have a continuing divergence forming as you can see and a 20 candles ride N uh, put a play put uh, uh, here some three uh, close resistances that's the most relevant re uh, resistances and on each of these resistances wherever it, even even here this is a suspicious level on each of these uh, uh, resistances and levels where dollar canadian go and makes uh, and make a bearish stop bearish candle pattern macd tick to the downside again know that rsi might go for extreme here that would be the time to jump in and to sell lower bend of the bollingers on the one hour chart would be the first target and the second target then would be all the way on the previous low but actually here i would be more careful and aim to take the, this trend line okay so from here to here that's the final target i would uh, be aiming to uh, to take something like that maybe even this trend line but th this is the zone to take the final profit okay one hour chart opposite bend which means here okay opposite bend of the bollingers will be the target and then the final target as i, as I told you the small uptrend line that uh, we have on the four hour chart dollar canadian also really good opportunity we have and pound franc i promise to talk about that know that we have a, a bullish convergence now and a beautiful bend to bend move that's exactly why i think the pound franc is forming a top now 
and I want to go to the 4 hour chart and I want to attack this extreme. Each of these resistances can be, can be the, uh, the stop level. I want to see RSI coming closer and closer to 80. I want then a bearish candle pattern to form and then I want to go for the attack. Protection above the last resistance. Target, 4 hour chart 20 EMA would be the first target. Final target, I would go and, uh, sorry, trade the daily 20 MA. I would go and aim the daily 20 MA as the final target because of the bend to bend move. I do think right from here on each of the levels, pound franc is going to make a stop where exactly no one can uh, uh, can uh, can say and we don't need to predict, we don't need to bet, we need to follow and to trade. So whatever it makes the stop with a bullish candle pattern, RSI to come as closer as possible to extreme. Then MACD ticking to the downside, of course, that will be time to jump in. 4-hour chart, 20 MA first target, uh, daily 20 MA final target. That's uh, another great opportunity we have uh, for today. And a few words about the Euro Pound. I, I remind you, I'm still watching for the break of this trend line. It looked like yesterday it, it wants to break, but it did not break. So it's a bit confusing right now. Uh, from one side it holds the resistance, from other side it creates here some bearish convergence, which means we should be ready to sell, uh, sell rallies. As for today, I prefer to skip this pair. I am really not confused, uh, I am really confused, really not sure, not convinced about uh, what it does, what it wants to do. I'm not quite sure right now about the moves, it's confusing me. And that's why I prefer to stay away. So friends, these are our opportunities for today. Dollar Canadian, Dollar Yen, OZ Dollar, Euro OZ are the, the hottest. Pound Franc is also a very, very interesting one. And uh, of course we have the silver still running. And um, mm, we, we have the OZ Kiwi on the list, but it's still early. So I don't, want, I don't talk about it, so this one uh, as well. And, and we have all the other trades did the job from yesterday so well done and um, that's all for today and i thank you very much for uh, watching this video and i wish you a wonderful day and good trading and i remind you again friends it's summertime keep your risk low wait patiently until things happen if they don't happen do not force trading okay this is very common mistake uh, by people, uh, that by, by traders, uh, especially the new traders to the market, they want to force trade, they want to trade, they must trade, okay? Don't force trade. Nothing will happen if you don't trade, if you uh, your plan does not uh, execute uh, uh, one day, okay? So wait for the an another day. It, and re remember what I always say, it's better to take three, four successful trades per week than three, four trades per day and uh, to have uh, all of them losing, okay? So, Careful, wait, and everything, and the patience will pay uh, pay off. Friends, thank you very much for you watching this video. I wish you a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow on the morning. Yours, Vladimir Bakov.